Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out the early morning vlog. It is 12 after 4 in the a.m. 70 degrees. It's dark out there. Got a little bit of light going on out there to help with this video. But for the most part, not a lot of cars on the road, which makes it a very nice drive for me. Hope everybody's doing great. Summer's coming to an end. Some of us are looking forward to fall. Some of us just don't want summer to end. Got a question for all of you, but I wanna, I wanna set up the question uh, before I ask it. I received email from Subcase and iBlazon asking if I would uh, want to review their upcoming cases for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That's the larger one, the 6.5 inch of the uh, of the three. That's the larger one. It's a good size device. Um, so they asked if I would I would want to review their upcoming cases for that specific device, and they would send me a replica dummy device. Just recently, I reviewed a lot of cases uh, for the Samsung Galaxy Note, not the Note. 10 plus but the Note 10 uh, but it was, it was a replica device it's not the real thing but it's perfect to just get to get an opportunity to see what cases we're going to look like on that on that specific device and if you're still considering that device you can go check out those videos I told subcase at iBlaze and yeah man send me the replica I'll review your cases you're going to see a few videos coming your way here soon using the replica iPhone 11 Pro Max, SEP cases, and eye blazing cases. And, and, that, and that's where the question is. is. Is that something that you see as a good thing to be able to visually see what these cases look like on this specific device or any device, using any replica or dummy device? But does that, is, do you see that as a good thing? I mean, my thing is, and I understand there's certain areas you can't review in those type of videos. I like to take pictures. I like to test out wireless charging if you have that. Um, and uh, I can do the third-party USB uh, cables, whether it's A or C. Um, in this case, it's going to be uh, a lightning cable, which is fine. You, still, you just want to make sure that the cutout is going to allow third-party cables to fit into the cutout area dimensionally everything's right so um you know do you see this even though i had that one negative feedback and i explained myself that at the end of the day these videos are to give you a a visual of what these cases are going to look like on that device that's really important i think for a lot of you because you're you're going to consider protection for your investment and you want to see what they're going to look like and that's what I'm doing. That's that's basically what I'm doing. Again, that that means that there's going to be a few areas that I'm not going to be able to test out. But through personal experience, whether it's Poetic, UAG, Subcase, iBlazon, Armadillo Tech, uh, and uh, in the past I, I've done a lot of Tudia cases, uh, Moco cases, um, and a few other companies, I've had no issues when it comes to uh, utilizing the functionality that needs to be that needs to work while sporting ca the, the cases that I've used, uh, if there's if there's wireless charging on that smartphone, I've had no problems with wireless charging. I, I have no issues with video and pics, uh, the cameras uh, working, not having any interference from the cutout itself causing any kind of shadow. Uh, any anything that will take away from the quality of the pics or the video. Uh, all my cables working. I have a lot of uh, uh, cables that come uh, that have come with my smartphones in the box, and then the third-party cables uh, that I utilize. I've, I've had no issues. Go through my videos and look at all of those videos. I, I, there's no complaints about that kind of stuff. So it doesn't bother me not being able to test those areas. It's giving you a a, a visual, a look 
of the case itself, see what you're gonna get, see what you're paying for, and then what it looks like on the smartphone. So, with all of that, is that okay with you guys? Or is that something you, you just, you'd rather have the, the actual smartphone that powers on in these type of videos? I'm still going to make them because I'm okay with it. Because I'm one of those guys that, I'm visual. I, 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 I'm a great reader in my, <laughs> in, in my opinion, I'm a great reader, but uh, I don't like to read that much. I, I'm more visual. And so uh, if I can see a hands-on video uh, and some, um, some commentary on it, uh, you know, uh, not, not those kind of videos where they just show you hands-on, it's just music and nobody's talking. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about actual hands-on and you get to hear uh, about that product and you get to hear the information that that person doing the review is experiencing while do, you know, doing their best to get that information out to you through a video. So, uh, and yeah, I'm okay with that. And at the end of the day, once I do my, you know, get all my homework done, then, then I can uh, decide whether I'm going to pick up that product or not. So you let me know down below uh, what, what your thoughts and opinions are on this question. Uh, a lot of information, but you know, something that I, I think needs to be uh, talked about and have a conversation. Either way, I'm going to be making the videos. So look forward to the upcoming uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max uh, case videos for the iBlazon uh, cases and the SEP cases. Uh, and uh, and then any other company that wants to send me any cases, uh, you know, yeah, I'll be using my iPhone 11 Pro Max replica. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace. I am out.